Today we learned how to write an equation for a line given just two points that the line goes through. And we learned how to do this in two different methods. So for example, let's say we have the coordinates 2, 4, and 6, 0, and those are two points on our line. We can use a graph to solve this by plotting the point 2, 4, and plotting the point 6, 0, and now that we know those two points, we can determine what the line looks like by using a straight edge and carefully drawing the line in. Now it's really important to use the straight edge because if you don't draw the line carefully, you're not going to get an accurate y-intercept. But now that I have my line, I can see that my slope is going to be down 4 and over 4. So negative 4 over 4, which reduces to negative 1. And my y-intercept is right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if you're not quite sure if that's the actual y-intercept or not, use your slope. The slope says it's negative 1, so it's down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. So just continue that pattern until you hit the y-intercept. Right there. We are correct. So our, our equation should be y equals 6 minus 1x. Now the second method we learned is with a table. So instead of plotting these two points, we can put them in a table and use what we've learned about tables to figure out the slope and the y-intercept. So 2, 4, 2, 4. 6, 0, 6, 0. Now, if we find the pattern of the table, we can find the slope, and then we can use that pattern to figure out the y-intercept. So, based on our table here, it went from 4 to 0 in 1, 2, 3, 4 steps. So if it went down 4 in 4 steps, that means it's going down 1 each step. 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. Perfect, it works out great. And then we can fill in the rest of the table that way too. It's going to go up 1 each time. So if I want my slope, I know it's going down 1 and over 1. So my slope is negative 1 over 1, which is just negative 1. I know my y-intercept is 6, so my equation would be y equals 6 minus 1x, which is the exact same equation we got using the graph. So those are the two methods we learned today in class, and tomorrow we're going to learn a third method which involves algebra.